We're going to turn now to a pretty shocking story playing out in court right now. A Massachusetts teenager facing trial for manslaughter after taunting her boyfriend to commit suicide. ABC's Lindsay Janice here with the story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. Michelle Carter was roughly 50 miles away from her boyfriend when he killed himself, but prosecutors say she had been pressuring him to do it via text message and was even talking on the phone with him when he ended his life. This morning, Massachusetts teenager Michelle Carter is one step closer to standing trial for allegedly convincing her 18-year-old boyfriend, Conrad Roy, to commit suicide. Prosecutors arguing Carter, now 18, encouraged him in dozens of text messages. She goes back, when are you going to do it? Stop ignoring the question. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. You can't keep pushing it off. Roy died of carbon monoxide poisoning in July 2014 after locking himself inside his truck in this Kmart parking lot. At the time, prosecutors say he was on the phone with Carter for 47 minutes, at one point telling her he was getting out of the truck because he feared it wasn't working. He was scared. She told him to get back in the car. And just days before, in another text message, Carter writing, don't be scared. You're finally to be happy in heaven. It's inconceivable. I just don't understand how someone could do that to encourage someone they claim to love. According to court documents, Roy had attempted suicide and had been hospitalized before he had even met Carter. And in one text message two weeks before his suicide, he expressed his desire to take his own life, writing, I can't get better. I already made my decision. The defense now trying for a second time to have the involuntary manslaughter charge dropped. He has in fact brainwashed her to the point where she's now accepting his idea of this is my only option. In a statement to ABC News, the defense says Michelle's communications were by no means threatening and that Roy made his own conscious decision to take his own life, adding, this is a tragedy, not a crime. Carter is due in court next month. If convicted, she faces up to 20 years in prison. George? Okay, Lindsay, let's talk to Dan Abrams about this right now. Boy, those texts are so horrifying to read. Does this brainwashing defense have a chance of actually getting the charges dismissed? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is not an easy case for prosecutors, primarily because of the law, meaning prosecutors are going to have to show that she caused his death. Now, if there was an assisted suicide ban in Massachusetts, the way there are in more than half the states, it would be much easier. They'd just be able to prove she helped, she encouraged, she assisted. They don't have that kind of law in Massachusetts. So they're charging with involuntary manslaughter here, which makes it a much harder case for prosecutors. So it to may win. not go to trial. It's possible that a court will ultimately throw it out. Meantime, you're launching a new website today. Tell us about it. Lawnewswithaz.com. I've got a big piece on whether I think the uh, two defendants in making of a murderer are actually guilty. We've got coverage of why the Cosby charges could be dismissed and we'll have a lot of campaign 2016 legal. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank Thanks, you Dan. very much. News with a Z. <laughs> Love News that. with a Z. Z. All right. <laughs>